Box is an easy cash shrub, robust and much appreciated, but a new pest is threatening this popular garden stalwart. The box tree caterpillar, Diaphania perspectalis, was introduced to Europe from Asia and has recently appeared for the first time in Weil am Rhein in the region of Bad Württemberg. From the Bad Württemberg region, this pest has reached Baal via the Rhine. Three years after its first appearance, the pest has already been sighted in the Swiss-German region and it continues to spread. This moth mainly feeds on the nectar of neighbouring flowers. During the day, it is particularly easily disturbed and will immediately fly away as soon as you touch the plant it is sitting on. This stage of the moth's life cycle lasts about eight days. The moth lays its eggs on the underside of box leaves. When they are first laid, they are almost transparent and look like fried eggs. After this, the caterpillars develop and the black head becomes easily recognisable. Shortly after, the young caterpillars hatch and start to devour the box. We have here a specialist of the box tree caterpillar, Mr. Walter Werner, a phytosanitary expert from the company Syngenta Agra SA. The first question concerns how can you tell if you have this pest on your box plants? If you have beige-brown spots on your box plants, or worse, areas that have already been stripped of leaves, then you can assume that you already have an infestation of box tree caterpillars. If you come up close to your plants and part the branches to see the interior of the plant and you spot either the silken webbings and the frass, the small balls of green-brown excrement, or even a few green caterpillars, then this is without doubt a case of box tree caterpillars. And once you know that there is a problem with box tree caterpillars, what can you do? For small volumes of box trees, or for isolated subjects, you can actually pick off the caterpillars by hand. This can be rather revolting, so you can also hoover them up from the leaves or knock the branches with a stick and hoover them up from the ground. It's important to remove the caterpillars properly. They should not end up in the compost where they can continue breeding, but instead should be burnt along with the household rubbish. For larger volumes of box or for more serious attacks, then there is no solution but to treat with an insecticide. It's important to have a pump that has enough pressure to treat the interior of the plants, as this is where the caterpillars will be. And here we can see clear traces of this serious pest. We can see the nibbled leaves, and if we look inside the hedge, we can see into the interior. Here are the silk webbing and the frass, we can clearly see here. If, for example, the hedge is shaken and the caterpillars fall down the inside of the plant, then that isn't going to solve the problem, as you will never find them again. In fact, the only solution here is proper treatment. There are some biological treatments available. These have been shown to be most effective on young caterpillars that are less than 2.5 centimeters long. As with all methods, it's important to regularly check your box plants after treatment. The box tree caterpillar can easily reach about 5 centimeters long. If the damage caused by this pest is not spotted early, the caterpillars can rapidly strip entire hedges. If the caterpillars then attack the soft bark, the damage can be fatal for many plants. Thanks to its huge reproductive success, it is not only private gardens that are at risk, but also public parks and cemeteries. Here in Central Europe, the box tree caterpillar is almost exclusively found on indigenous box, Buxa sempervirens. After having passed through the caterpillar stage of the life cycle, which takes about four weeks, the caterpillars metamorphose into cocoons. The silk webbing surrounding the caterpillar protect it very well during this period. The cocoons measure about 2.5 centimetres long and are recognisable by their black and yellow patterns on the sides. After about a week, a new generation of moths hatch, which in their turn hunt for suitable box on which to lay their eggs. The box tree caterpillar overwinters as a caterpillar, well protected by a box or neighbouring plant. During all checks after treatment, make sure you check over the interior of the plant and the undersides of the leaves. Our thanks to Mr. Walter Werner. Don't forget also that when you are pruning or removing any of the affected plants, that it is essential to have the affected plant material removed with the household rubbish or burnt. The clippings should not be composted. 
For any new large-scale planting for hedging, borders or other structured forms, there are plenty of suitable alternatives instead of box. Taxus, Ilex cranata or as Monthus burkwoodii offer an excellent alternative to box. Ask for advice from your local garden centre or other professionals. Box trees in containers or on balconies and terraces are just as much at risk as their cousins in the garden. Make sure you check them over regularly and if you have an infestation, let your neighbours know, particularly if they have any box plants. Thank you for your interest and goodbye.